Well, satellite images of North India in the last week have revealed that the season of killer pollution is almost upon us again. A grey haze engulfing farms where crop burning has begun. So what if farmers had a clean, green, efficient alternative? Well, an Indian company came up with just such an alternative. And for this initiative, it has won the Earthshot Environment Prize instituted by Britain's Prince William. It's one of the most prestigious environment prizes in the world. It's often even described as the Eco Oscars. The prize's name is also a reference to the moonshot ambition of the 1960s America, which saw then President John F. Kennedy pledge to get a man on the moon within a decade. Well, Vidyut Mohan of Takachar, the man of the moment, joins us on the program now. Vidyut, many congratulations on winning this prize. Uh, killer air is clearly the biggest climate crisis we face right now. It doesn't really get much bigger than this. Um, uh, tell us your thoughts right now about uh, what this prize means for you and what you hope to do with it. Thank you so much for ha having me. Um, yeah, I'm still digesting that uh, we won the prize and it's a big honor for us. And the, the prize uh, will, first of all, really expose and showcase the problem of agricultural and forest based burning on a global scale. And uh, hopefully it will help us scale our solution and our impact faster. But also by highlighting it, uh, we also expect many other people to join in and uh, you know, get into this field and solve this problem quickly uh, because you cannot do this alone and we need to solve this together. Yeah, but what we're talking about, Vidyut, is a, a phenomenon that affects nearly 40 percent of uh, the population um, of, of northern India. You know, killer air severely affects people. It reduces life expectancy. And you're actually holding out the promise of a solution. So can you tell us uh, you know, a little more about the kind of tech you're offering, about what it's going to do. Sitting in Delhi, I can speak for myself as someone with respiratory allergies. I speak for so many fellow citizens as well. When I say we desperately hope that a solution is around the corner. So the what we have developed is small scale, low cost, uh, portable equipment that can be deployed near farms and forests where agriculture and forest spaces usually burn. And what we are hoping to do is take the equipment to the waste rather than transporting the waste to the equipment because that is a challenge in this field that uh, biomass is used bulky and wet and it's very costly to transport. And what the equipment does is it uh, converts this agricultural waste into a, a carbon dense material and this material can be used to make various, various valuable products like fuels and fertilizers. And the net outcome out, out of this is that it can create value for rural communities, livelihood opportunities for rural communities in villages itself. Of course, the equipment uh, uh, mitigates or prevents up to 98% of the smoke emissions as compared to open burning of this waste. Uh, but also at the same time, it mitigates and sequesters up to 1 billion uh, tons of CO2 equivalent emissions. So, so that's our aim by 2030. So it has a very multidimensional impact. Yes, indeed. So you're actually sort of talking about something that will enable uh, farmers to no longer burn their crop residue, which in effect is really what the root of this problem is all about. That's, uh, you know, such a big contributor to the smog and killer air at this time. But how long would it actually take to scale this up to a pan North India level? Because we're talking about a very big area here. Yeah, um, so the idea is, uh, uh, so it takes about a day to set up the machine. So once you, you need to have small scale and decentralized solutions rather than large scale centralized machines that are very capital intensive and takes months to set up. Right. And by having small scale equipment, you can scale very quickly and it's affordable to rural communities. So that's what makes it scalable. Uh, and uh, uh, once uh, we're starting off a pilot right now this month in Haryana. Okay. And uh, using rice straws and we hope to scale that together uh, over the coming year. So tell us a little more about your pilot project. How is this technology actually going to work? How soon can we begin to see the effects of this on the ground? So our pilot project is about converting uh, rice straws uh, to a carbon rich fertilizers where in the village itself the rice straws will be converted and a fertilizer product will be made and will be sold to farmers in the village itself. Uh, creating a circular economy, uh, preventing air pollution, but also at the same time sequestering carbon in the soil for decades. Uh, 
and uh, this we are doing this together with the uh, world food program and uh, once we've proven this in the pilot we are hoping to scale this throughout this uh, region uh, in punjab and haryana so how uh, willing uh, with you have you found people are individuals or for that matter states uh, and at the policy level are people willing to adopt this technology um, you know in 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 your opinion what would be the best outcome the kind of timelines we're talking about so i mean our hope is uh, i mean we want to uh, be the go to company for agriculture residue management uh, 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 and uh, what we hope to see is uh, i mean we now i mean our goal is to finish this pilot and uh, work with farmers on the ground to arrive as, at a scalable business model together with them so uh, so we hope immediately after these few months we look to scale it starting the next uh, burning cycle so before that right tell us a little more about the prize itself uh, you know this association with britain's prince william um, and it seems it goes to a very small number of uh, such environment uh, solutions uh, globally so tell us a little more about what it was like competing at that kind of global level we believe there was another contestant from india as well yeah and uh, all the, all the finalists are extremely incredible and uh, com- have come up with really innovative solutions and uh, i feel really honored uh, as part of takachar to be selected as part of those uh, finalists and uh, the event was a complete surprise for us i mean we didn't know till the award ceremony that we would be winning and uh, uh, we believe uh, the other contestant from india was actually a 14 year old school girl from tamil nadu vinisha uh, and and her project was a solar powered ironing cart what what did you think of that uh, what would be your message to her um uh, I, i i'm de- i'm deeply honored uh, i mean i met vinisha yesterday and uh, i'm quite inspired by her solution and the work that she has done and has potential for tremendous impact in india for sure Uh, where you know uh, uh, charcoal emissions are uh, burning charcoal produces a lot of emissions and a solar and cart can scale all over india and create a lot of impact right if you had sort of one message for all our viewers right now uh, about what you would like to see for the environment for india taking steps ahead in you know the battle against its climate crisis what would that be vidyut i would say i mean everyone can make an impact uh, everyone can witness and see problems around us so uh, i mean you uh, you can start small by just uh, uh, you know looking at looking and understanding the problems around you and uh, working together with your community to solve that i think if everyone does that we can actually make a pretty big impact all right with you thanks so much for joining us on the show and congratulations once again thank you